Okay, the project for today, we're doing an oil change in a Ninja. And the first step is to get this lower fairing right here. All the fasteners got to come out. And then there's some fasteners on the underside of the fairings. And once those come out, the oil filter is easy to get to. Okay, once you got the lower fairing off on the right side, the oil filter is really easy to get to. All you had to do was take out some fasteners and some of these plastic pop rivets. Just got to stick a screwdriver in that little hole right there and the rivets pop right out. But yeah, once you get the lower fairing out, the oil filter is really easy to get to. You got the new oil filter in. The old one's right there at the drain pan. And you can see the oiled oil is draining on out. Uh, it's still pretty good oil. I'm changing it out once a year and I'm not even putting anywhere near um, uh, the full service life mileage on the oil. So it's still pretty clear, but I get it, what, the oil out anyhow because after a year it's pretty acidic just hanging around in the crankcase. So there it is, it's draining out right now. And in a second, um, we'll be putting the oil in. And now the fill plug is on the right side of the motorcycle. And it's uh, really easy to get to. If you don't have to remove any fairings. It's uh, this fill plug right here. Uh, usually I torque this down really tight so that uh, someone walking by can just take their hands and undo the fill plug and mess around with my oil. But uh, that's the fill plug right there. And you need a funnel to fill that up. So let's get the oil, first quart of oil and I usually I always run the full synthetic through it. This is motorcycle has had synthetic ever since it was bought brand new. And that's all it ever gets because uh, these engines are pretty rough on oil, so get the best for it. Okay, sport bikes uh, don't have dipsticks to check the fluid level for the oil. Uh, they have witness windows, and you can see in the window there, we have very clear, fresh, brand new oil. And uh, there are two hash marks for a lower level and upper level. It's just touching the upper level right now. Uh, it's probably going to be uh, over the upper level because the motorcycle is on stands right now and so it's not completely accurate. I'm going to go ahead and start it up, let the fluid run through it and check the level but it should be okay now. Looks like we're good. Okay, now the hard part about this job is getting everything back together again. If you look, you got to have these tabs and all these fasteners all line up exactly perfect to get all this stuff back together again. So it came apart pretty easy, but the job really is uh, getting them all back together again.